episode 28, the Marlin Lever Action. Much like the Colt Single Action Army and the AR-15 episodes, this one will also be covering multiple firearms that all share the same characteristics of being a Marlin design. If you want a detailed history about every little change to the Marlin series of lever actions, there are far better channels to that than mine. So the Marlin series of lever actions first appeared in Fallout New Vegas and has since reappeared in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Now when it comes to lever actions, most people know of the iconic Winchesters. But Winchester was and is not the only lever action manufacturer. During the 1800s you had a variety of different manufacturers, some with very unique designs. There was Spencer, Whitneyville Armory, Bullard, Savage, Marlin, and more. Most companies went bankrupt or were bought out by a competitor, usually Winchester. Winchester really liked buying out smaller companies and then just shutting them down. The founder of Marlin Firearms was John Malin Marlin. John Marlin was a former Colt employee, leaving Colt after the Civil War to start his own company, the Marlin Firearm Company. However, it wasn't until 1881 did they start making lever actions. With the 1881 Marlin, one of the few lever actions at the time that could handle large buffalo hunting rifle rounds, usually meant for single shot rifles. Marlin saw a lot of success in the late 1800s and 1900s, making all kinds of guns from pump action shotguns, bolt action rifles, and even an SMG during World War II. However, the lever action was always their mainstay. Despite Marlin having a lot of success, they eventually fell on hard times. Marlin was bought by Remington in 2007. Remington was owned by Freedom Group, who proceeded to purchase multiple firearm companies and then basically run them into the ground. Eventually, Remington went bankrupt and Marlin was sold to Ruger in 2020. Now that is a very summarized history of Marlin. And now on to the video game lore. In Fallout New Vegas, we find two different versions of the Marlin lever action. The Trail Carbine, which is based on the Marlin 336. You would think that this is an old design used in the Wild West, but the Marlin 336 is more modern, being first introduced in 1946. However, it is based on patents that are much older by one L.L. Hepburn. In our timeline, the Marlin 336 is a very popular rifle for hunting, especially in states like Pennsylvania where you're unable to hunt with a semi-auto. The Marlin 336 is also one of the few remaining rifles to be chambered in the 35 Remington round, a round originally designed for the Remington Model 8 semi-auto rifle. In Fallout New Vegas, we find that the rifle is chambered in the 44 Magnum round, originally meant for revolvers. Out of a rifle, the 44 Magnum pistol cartridge packs a really good punch. The trail carbine can be used on just about every enemy in the game and only starts to struggle when facing tougher critters of the Mojave like Deathclaws and Red Scorpions. In the Mojave Wasteland, the most prominent user of the Trail Carbine is the New California Republic. The NCR Rangers can be seen equipped with these, among multiple other firearms. There is also a Trail Carbine in the NCR Ranger safehouse. The second biggest user is Caesar's Legion. Both Legionary Assassins and even some of the Praetorians can be seen using Trail Carbines. The third faction to use the Trail Carbine is the Great Khans. Trail carbines can be found being sold by multiple vendors like the Gun Runners and any other firearms dealer in the region. In the Zion Canyon, a trail carbine can be found in the pre-war ranger station, so the forestry service were issued marlins. The White Lakes tribals can also be found using trail carbines, but only at higher levels. Now, there is one modification for the trail carbine. That is a scope. Marlins are much easier to scope than Winchesters because of how they eject. Marlins are side ejecting designs, whereas Winchesters all eject out the top. Now you can put a scope on a Winchester, but it's just a lot easier to put one on a Marlin. There are no unique trail carbines in Fallout New Vegas. The other Marlin we see in the Mojave is the brush gun. Some of you might not know what the brush gun refers to. A brush gun refers to a rifle that fires a large diameter round. The theory, which there's actually a lot of validity to this theory, is that when firing through plants and other brush, a smaller diameter 
caliber, like 223, 243, 6.5, will be deflected off course when it hits brush. Where a larger caliber, like 35, 38, 45, and even larger, will simply just smash through the brush and not be deflected as much off course. And we see that the brush gun in game does fire a large caliber round, the 4570 government. The only government you can trust. Now, the brush gun isn't just a straight up copy of a real life Marlin. Josh Sawyer said it's based on the Winchester 1886 and the Marlin guide gun. This is true depending on which receiver you're using. The standard receiver is based on the Marlin, but when you equip the forged receiver, it changes to a Winchester style. Now, the brush gun is a very powerful rifle in New Vegas, and in most cases can even compete with the anti-material rifle. For post-war usage of the rifle, the NCR again is the primary user, with the Rangers being equipped with these as well. Caesar's Legion veteran legionaries can sometimes have these rifles, but it's pretty rare. Brotherhood Knight Tories can be found selling the brush gun from time to time, however the Brotherhood of Steel does not make use of any lever action. The lobotomites of Big MT can actually be found using lever actions as well. Why there are so many lever actions at Big MT, I don't know. Maybe they were doing testing with the 4570 round? The marked men of the Savage Divide are also equipped with brush guns, but again, this is fairly rare. Now, again, most of the firearm sellers of the region do sell the brush gun, with the gun runners being the most prevalent. The gun runners is also where you get the only unique brush gun in New Vegas, the medicine stick. The medicine stick is a highly customized version of the brush gun. It has a skin very reminiscent of how Native Americans used to decorate their guns with feathers and leather wraps. The medicine stick also holds more rounds than a standard brush gun. The medicine stick is a double reference, both to Native American culture and to President Teddy Roosevelt, who referred to his Winchester 1895, chambered in the very powerful 405 Winchester round, as his medicine gun for lions. Now, going on to Fallout 4, the Marlin returns, but only in the Far Harbor DLC. This one, again, is also based on the Marlin 336. However, it is the left-hand model that Bethesda really likes putting in their games recently. I always wondered why Bethesda does this, and I always have a few guesses for why Bethesda puts all the working bits on the left. So, my first guess is that Bethesda's modeler has been working in video games for a very long time. So back in the 90s and early 2000s, mirroring a gun was common to what is actually known as gun porn. See, devs want to give the player visual feedback that the gun is working. So they move the parts to the left because it's easier to show you. My other guess is that the modeler is left-handed, so he models the gun his way. Third guess is to make animations easier. A left hand gun is a lot easier to animate than a right hand gun because you only have to move basically one arm. In Fallout 4, it's just known as the lever action. This version also fires the 4570 round, much like the brush gun. Since Fallout 4 heavily features weapon customization, you can change this rifle into a variety of styles, from a long range sniper to a configuration more commonly known as a mare's leg. The Mare's Leg is basically a cut-down lever action made famous by Steve McQueen in the show Wanted Dead or Alive. However, this was not the first appearance of a Mare's Leg. A slightly older show, called Trackdown, was the first to feature this style of weapon. Through the years, several companies have offered lever actions in the Mare's Leg configuration, most of them being based on the Winchester designs like the Rossi Ranch Hand and the Chiapa Puma 92. While Marlin doesn't offer a Mare's Lake style of gun, Henry Repeating Firearms does. Henry lever actions are actually based on Marlins, with some modifications, like how you load them from the top of the tube, and it wasn't actually until recently that they added a side loading gauge to make them more like the Marlins they're based on. Now this Henry has nothing to do with the original Civil War era Henry lever action. The original was made by a company known as New Haven Arms. Henry Repeating Firearms just takes the name of Henry. 
Now, because the lever action was introduced with a DLC, none of the major factions of Fallout 4 use it. It's relegated to the island inhabitants. Like the Trappers, who are a bunch of crazed hunters. They were driven to madness by the island itself. Alan Lee of Far Harbor is the most common place to find lever actions, as he's usually found selling them. He's also where you acquire one of the two unique lever actions of Fallout 4. If you side with Far Harbor and him, he will reward you with Lucky Eddie, a lever action that features the luck perk, granting plus two luck. I'm not sure if the name Lucky Eddie is a reference to anything, but there is an old western series originally created in Belgium called Lucky Luke. It was originally a comic series and has since got several film adaptations. In fact, in New Vegas, there is a reference to Lucky Luke. The posters you see of the cowboy doing the finger guns is dressed exactly like the character of Lucky Luke with the white cowboy hat and everything. The other unique lever action is Old Reliable. Old Reliable is sold by Dejan of Arcadia. It features the two-shot ability, firing two projectiles at once like a duplex cartridge. The name Old Reliable was first used by the Sharps Company to describe their 1874 Sharps single-shot lever-action rifle. Since then, the name has come to mean really any object that you can reliably depend on to get a job done. That leaves us with Fallout 76. The Fallout 76 version is the same model as Fallout 4, with one difference. It fires 45 instead of 4570. Now, this was done to consolidate ammo, so one round represents multiple different ones in Fallout 76. The Thompson, the Combat Rifle, the Lever Action, the Radium Rifle, the Pipe Rifle, all use the same round. However, that does not mean it's they are all firing 45 ACP. So, we're going to assume it's 4570 loaded into the Lever Action because that's what the animation is showing. Now, Fallout 76, due to being a live service game, it can kind of be hard to get information about specific weapons. Things can change in just one patch or two. And the Fallout 76 wiki is also incredibly incomplete. The Prima Strategy Guide, now being almost three years old, is heavily outdated. So getting information about weapons is very hard for Fallout 76 sometimes. And most of this is just me guessing and observing things as I play the game. An example of something changing with a single patch is the Blood Eagle Daily Off Boss, the Blood Eagle Destroyer. When they first added her to the game, she was wearing the Quack Doctor outfit. But with the last patch, they changed her outfit to the Skull Lord outfit. Now, what I can easily tell you is that the lever action plans are sold by the Responder Vendor Bots. The lever action is also the weapon of the Fallout Universe superhero known as the Starlet Sniper. There is a skin for her version of the rifle and her outfit in the Atomic Shop. However, the Atomic Shop is not canon, but I felt I should mention it. A lever action used to be able to be found in the Big Ben Tunnel. The Big Ben Tunnel during the first couple years of the game was filled with Scorched, and the sub-faction, known as the Fire Breathers, who are the combat-focused part of the responders, went in to clear the Tunnel of the Scorched, but end up all dying. Now, when Bethesda updated the tunnel with Wastelanders, it seems they removed the spawn of the lever action. Or the spawn is still there, but I'm just really bad at finding it, or I have really bad RNG. Now, while I did mention the model of the lever action in Fallout 76 is the same as Fallout 4, there is some differences. One is Bethesda fixed the reload. You see, in Fallout 4, you had to reload all five rounds every time you reloaded the gun. Didn't matter if you shot all five or only one. Bethesda finally fixed this in Fallout 76. The Fallout 76 lever action also has access to the prime receiver, which allows you to fire depleted ultrasight rounds out of the gun. In Fallout 76, there is one unique lever action. Well, I should say there was one unique lever action. The Soul Survivor. The Soul Survivor was a survival reward weapon, which when survival mode was removed from the game, all the reward weapons went with it. Now, Bethesda has brought back some of these survival reward weapons as daily ops rewards, but most of them are still missing. The Soul Survivor was a three-star lever action featuring the Assassins, Hitmans, and Steadfast traits, giving it more damage to other players. Now, since then, Assassins has changed to more damage to humans. 
so Soul Survivor has changed with it. It also features more damage when aiming and 50% damage resistance when aiming. The name Soul Survivor is a reference to Fallout 4, as that was the name of the main protagonist. So that was all about the Marlin series of lever actions in the Fallout universe. While not as recognizable as Winchester's, Marlins are reliable and still very popular. As always, subscribe to this channel as well as my main channel, Trooper Fofo, for more gaming content. Alright, see you later. Bye.